Hello, it's Bud. Lost in the Frost posed a question, and I think it's actually asking two things. It wants to know how to make a photo using screen capture, which is also called print screen. And he also wants to be able to email a pattern, uh, which would be using the export. So let's talk about both. Okay, let's say I've got this up in Designer. Uh, whether I designed it or someone else designed it is beside the point. What, what I want to do is I want to send a photo of this particular design to someone. Or I just want to save it to be able to use it on paper someplace. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push print screen on my keyboard. Now on my keyboard, I've got a full size keyboard and it is to the right of the function keys. Uh, it's labeled PRT SCR. Uh, if you have a laptop, uh, it is a multifunction thing and you probably have to use the alternate key plus that print screen. But I'm going to push on the print screen and that copies what's here in this window. And you can see that it's paste activated, so uh, that's just another thing. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up paint. It's not the only way to do it, but I'm just going to bring up paint. And I might say I'm using Windows, and that's the reason I'm using paint. It's one of my favorite things. So I come to edit, and I come to paste, and I will have this entire screen. And what I want to do is I want to center this thing. so that I can get this particular picture right here. I'll move this over so we can see what's going on. Here's the picture I want, but I don't want all this edging. So I'm going to come up here and click on this uh, outline here. And I'm just going to box this thing in. And I'm not going to be too careful. I might not get the top of it there, but it's there. Now that I've got it boxed in, I right click. I click on copy. I come back to file on the paint. I click new. And I don't want to save this. I come back to edit. And I click on paste. And there I have the image. Now if I want to get rid of this black around the edge, uh, this is just a side thing. Click on the paint can. And around down here it shows me the colors that are active on my mouse buttons at this point. I can pick anything I want. The left button is black. The right button is white. So if I set in black and click with the right button one time, that background is now white. Just a, an incidental thing, okay? Now I'm going to click on File. I'm going to click on Save As. And I want it in my picture, so that's where I'm going to navigate to. Uh, in my case, I want it to be part of my carving list. And I want it as a sample. So I'm going to make it a JPEG. Uh, you may want to make it something different, but I like JPEG. And I'm just going to put Last Supper. And I'm going to click Save. And now I have that saved in my pictures, in the Carve Right section, Samples, as the Last Supper. And I can go get that anytime I want and email it. I can put it on word processing. I can do whatever I want. That's how screen capture or print screen works. Okay? So now let's talk about uh, exporting a pattern. Okay, this is an entirely different pattern. Um, I just want to show you how it works here. I've got my pattern up, and I want to 
deal with it. I want to export it or whatever. I have already saved it. And just so you can see what's going on is once I've saved it as a PGN or as a M, was it MPC? Um, this is an MPC, and it's this choose, which is uh, a verse out of the Bible in Joshua. It's an MPC. It's in signs under projects under my projects. Okay, so I've I've got it saved. So now all I have to do is be able to go to my email or or whatever and pick it out. So I'll be back. Let me just back up a minute so that we cover the other part of it. If I haven't saved it already uh, or I want to do something to it, I can launch Pattern Editor. I'm going to launch Pattern Editor in a minute. I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, but I've got this and it is someplace I can, can use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mail I'm going to address it, put a subject in it, come down here and tell them here it is, whatever I want. And I'm going to come up here to the paper clip and attach a message. And I'm going to go get that particular MPC. So I've got to go find it, where I've got it under my document. Okay, so I've navigated down through all my various folders until I get to it, and here it is, choose, and it's the MPC. I click on it, click on attach, and there it is, right there. And I send it, and it's on its way. Uh, it would be the same thing if it's a pattern. Um, what the person can do with it on the other end depends on whether it is a um, copyrighted pattern uh, or whether it's a free pattern uh, or MPC. But that's how that part of it works. <laughs>